Well, I think it's really important for us all to get involved in this sort of thing. Uh, and I want to do as much as I possibly can, so I feel this is a really useful way of helping, helping out for our future. I'm worried about my children, basically. I've got a, a five and a seven year old, and I'm just worried about their future and what they're going to have to face. So, but it's enough to try to do whatever it takes to help climate change and help people find solutions. Um, I'm supporting Greece for two reasons. One is very personal, and I'm a little ashamed to admit that I haven't taken very serious attention to climate change in the past, and it's definitely something that I want to learn more about and know more about. So I've become involved with the group to do that for my own personal knowledge. And second of all, I can definitely appreciate um, the work that they're doing in the community, and this is a community that I want to be a part of, and I want them to grow and um, benefit people around it. If I can help in any way, that's what I'm going to do. Well, I think it's really important that the National Centre for Sustainability be able to support uh, local communities in engaging with sustainability. Uh, we believe that uh, community action is going to be a vital component in, uh, in, in, in enabling our communities to work towards sustainability. And uh, an event such as this, uh, this forum is going to be a, uh, a real driver in being able to get sustainable action happening in our communities. What brings me here today is I think that uh, climate change slash global warming is the most pressing issue that the human race faces. I think it's unprecedented and I think we need global cooperation like we've never seen before if we're going to overcome it. Um, and I'm interested in hearing people who are experts in their field talk about climate change so I can learn more about it. Well, we're here today because obviously there's a lot of people here who are interested in making a difference in local energy solutions and the Central Victoria Solar City is all about changing people's behaviour and getting people to make a difference by buying locally and we've got the local Ballarat Solar Park which we're trying to promote which is a fantastic opportunity for people to support that sort of local infrastructure. Well I'm interested in finding out what's happening in uh, regional Victoria about uh, climate change and community responses to uh, how to mitigate the impacts of climate change and, and deal with the potential impacts uh, looking out into the future. The theme of this year's forum is expert knowledge and information you can act on and we certainly hope that you leave today's event feeling both that you've learned something new and that you also feel motivated to, to take action uh, that you can on climate change. Thank you Lisa and welcome to you all for coming along today to this very important initiative and I'd like to congratulate Lisa and Breeze and all of the team that have been involved in uh, the work to bring this forum together and raise community awareness about uh, uh, climate change matters. I'm actually going to get you to, to interact a little bit for me. So what I'm going to do is ask you to stand up if you can answer yes to any of the questions that I'm going to ask. So my first question is, does anyone here have a mobile phone? <laughs> stand up. Anyone ever been arrested for one of those protests? <laughs>
and political leadership. To name this problem, to talk about it honestly, and to put the solutions out there. If you can transform the American economy in 12 months, if you can spend three dollars in ten on finding a stupid war, surely we can spend one or two dollars in ten, which is probably what it would cut, it would take not to burn the planet. It's a very simple proposition. Well, thank you very much, Jane, and uh, thank you very much to Breeze for inviting me. Uh, two years ago, I had a great pleasure of being invited by Breeze to address uh, an audience of similar, enormous size, which, which is very impressive. We already have pretty well all the technologies we need to dramatically cut Australia's greenhouse gas emissions, and that's what's discussed in the first book. So, in the plan, the positive thing is we've got the technology. <coughs> got a portfolio and they have different properties. Some of them can do base load power, 24 hours a day of power, others can do peak load. Put them all together and we have a system just as reliable as the existing dirty energy system. The, the sad thing is that nothing much is happening in this country. We have a complete failure of government action by both Labor and the Coalition, both state and federal governments. And it's really only local governments with their very limited resources that are actually doing anything. The strategic plan is the vision set up for us. Without it, what the hell are we doing? Right, we need a big picture, and in case you haven't you know, been aware of it, well here it is. Acknowledging the urgency to reduce greenhouse gases, Breeze has got a vision that by 2020 the Ballarat community will have significantly reduced its greenhouse gas emissions towards achieving zero emissions by 2030. Okay, that's a pretty enormous picture. Well, I think I must be the bravest person here today. I'm from the government. I'm here to help you. <laughs> so what I want to do is just very, very quickly take through what the Department of Sustainability perhaps may allow some of you to take action as a result of what we've done today. Now these three fabulous people are some of our uh, core volunteers who both ran last year's forum as well as this one. And I just I would have to say that this, this event would not exist without them. So a very, very big and warm thank you to Laura and the Sobering, and I knew that, and uh, a recall to take action and to share it regardless of the consequences of what people say and what people think. Just a real dedication and a real commitment. Um, quite energised, actually. I thought the speakers were wonderful. No, I feel that we're not getting anywhere very fast and uh, we really do need to get onto a wartime footing on this issue. Um, I think this forum is a really good example of how community members can get together and hopefully make a difference or at least join together to discuss things that are of concern to them. Um, everybody seems to feel that on a local level we can't do much but I think that Breeze has actually proven that that's not right and that we've, over the short time that Breeze has been around, that we've actually made some really good inroads into making a difference on a local level. So this is, um, it's just an illustration of what the little people can do when they get together and do something together. Let's hope the people leaving here today will be a bit more revved up by the time we finish to get out there and try and sell it to some more people. I'm feeling a little bit empowered actually. Um, a little bit more uh, knowledge to take back to my climate sceptic work colleagues. Uh, yeah. oh, I'm um, pleased that uh, we'll, um, probably opening in some people's eyes to how serious the problem is and uh, how uh, seriously we need to act because I don't think people get it yet either. Yeah, I feel the same way. Um, you learn much and then you wonder about how you can put all this into practice <laughs> and you're sort of investigating your whole lifestyle. <laughs> That's what this brings about. I mean, I think sometimes we in the climate change movement forget that not everybody is informed. So these sorts of events are really important to allow um, um, you know, perhaps the majority of people who are curious about climate change to come along and hear very uh, broad information, easily accessible, um, so that they can take the next step and hopefully get involved with Breeze and start making changes at home, etc. So it's really important for the mainstream, I think.